Why most electricity generating animals live in water? As we know, some animals can generate electricity. A good example of such an animal is electric eels, and the total voltage produced can reach up to 600 to 700 volts. It allows the eel to stun or deter predators, catch prey, and communicate with other eels. Electric eels have specialized cells called electrocytes stacked like batteries in their bodies. These cells are capable of generating electrical charges. When an eel needs to produce a shock, thousands of these cells activate simultaneously, creating a powerful electrical discharge. This remarkable ability is a result of millions of years of evolution, enabling electric eels to thrive in their natural habitats. Other animals which can generate electricity include electric rays, electric catfish, knifefish, elephant nose fish, stargazers, and so on. If we take a quick look at this list, we can find that most of the electricity generating animals are aquatic animals. In comparison, terrestrial animals rarely have that ability. What is the reason behind this fact? Actually, the prevalence of electricity generating abilities among aquatic animals can be attributed to several factors. Factor 1 Conductivity of water. Water is an excellent conductor of electricity. This property allows electric signals to travel efficiently through water, facilitating the use of electricity for various purposes such as communication, navigation, hunting, and defense. Unlike terrestrial animals, water can provide support and buoyancy, making it easier for these organisms to develop specialized structures for generating and controlling electricity. Factor 2. Evolutionary History Many aquatic animals evolved electricity-generating abilities as adaptations to their specific aquatic environments. These adaptations may not have been as advantageous or feasible for terrestrial animals due to differences in habitat, predator-prey dynamics, and other ecological factors. During millions of years of evolution, the selective pressures acting on terrestrial animals may favor other adaptations over the development of electricity-generating organs. Terrestrial animals have evolved a wide range of sensory mechanisms, locomotion strategies, and defensive mechanisms suited to their environments, which may provide sufficient advantages without the need for electricity generation. Factor 3. Energy Costs Generating electricity can be energetically costly for animals. In aquatic environments, where conductivity facilitates the transmission of electric signals, the benefits of electricity generation may outweigh the energy costs. However, in terrestrial environments where conductivity is lower, the energy expenditure required to produce and maintain electric organs may not be as advantageous. Also, water can provide support and buoyancy for aquatic animals which means they do not need too much energy to support their own body weight and movement, allowing them to have extra energy for generating the electricity. Factor 4. Physical Constraints the physical constraints of terrestrial locomotion and anatomy may also limit the development of electricity-generating organs in terrestrial animals. Aquatic animals have evolved specialized anatomical structures and behaviors that facilitate the generation and control of electricity, which may not be as feasible for animals adapted to terrestrial locomotion. So, for a terrestrial animal, an electricity-generating organ may make it hard to move around, which may make it hard to survive in its surrounding environment. One thing to note is that although terrestrial animals may not commonly generate electricity like fish, there are some exceptions. For example, some insects, such as certain beetles and bugs, can produce small electrical discharges. However, these examples are relatively rare compared to the diversity of electricity generating abilities seen in aquatic animals. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.